I am joined. I am here with with um. Yeah. Welcome to our video. So yeah, it is Play-Doh Friday. So we are going to show you. But now it's kind of like tutorial day because I'm going to show you some liquid feeding stuff and feed it to her on camera maybe a little bit. So, yeah. So we decided what we are going to make liquid. So we've been thinking, what's liquid? What's liquid? What's liquid? Some food. Some food of liquid. Oh, by the way, my dog is here and making so much noise. So sorry if that bugs you. But yeah, she's not very happy staying in my. Look at that! Like, let me out! Let me out! Huh? Okay. So let's get started. So yeah. item you're going to need is so this so we are making tomato soup if i forgot to say that what we'll need is a red marker a paper towel i'm using two spoons um so i wanted to put all this food in lotion and water so yeah no okay i'm back sorry so um yeah let's get started first of all okay i just put water and lotion in this and i'm going to stir it up and i didn't put very much because this is like a snack for her because it's getting a little dark let me show you in a second okay i wiped it off because it wasn't working how i was stirring so i decided to just with the back of the spoon so that may help a little bit more and right now it is seven and so it's well excuse me it's not seven <sighs> it's 5 30 so that's usually when i put some of the, most of the babies down for a nap so for Kaylee, she usually goes for a nap at 7. Then their bedtime is the two, three little ones. So I want to set for Kaylee. Goes to bed at 8, 8.30. And um, Kaylee goes to bed at 8.45. This is our bedtime. So, yeah. And their early naps are 5.30. Oh, eh, I mean... The earlier naps are like 3.30, 4. So they can get all of that rest from school. But I, so it, they just came from school. And yeah. And after this video is going to be a little DIY thing. So I'll tell you what it is now. So okay, Kaylee. So, um, Emily has been telling me her bed is a little uncomfortable since her, she doesn't have a comfy end thing. She doesn't have a comfy end. Cause you, cause you know that her, the bottom of her bed is, um, um, her bottom of the bed is like, cardboard so I can get why she's not uncom uncomfortable why she's uncomfortable excuse me so yeah so hopefully you guys been watching me as I speak but yeah so I'll show you guys how to make it comfortable again because I think this idea will go great so yeah I Starting to look like tomato soup, guys. Don't you think? Yummy! I can't wait to eat it. Yeah. Looks good. If 
if I was Hannah, I would enjoy this. But guys, I know I say this all the time. Don't actually make this for yourself. It might actually taste really gross. I imagine. It tastes really gross. This is only for... And plus, these recipes that I'm showing you guys are not for you. It's for the babies one. And they, this liquid food I'm making... You cannot feed it to Kaylee, the second Sarah. You cannot even feed Emily, the the ready for school baby. And Leah is too young for solid food. But yeah, well not solid, liquid, liquid food. I could probably feed it soon to her. But anyways, anyways, only feed the babies who can handle like liquid foods. I'm only that don't even have the speakers. I'll even make this a bigger point. Don't even have the speakers. Well, except, you know, for example, my baby, you can feed it to, um, the Real Surprises baby, I'm pretty sure you can feed that too, because they, and the food packet babies that come with food packets when you got, get them, you can feed it too, and I'm only feeding this to Hannah because she doesn't have a speaker. So, if your baby has a speaker, I wouldn't recommend feeding them. Feeding them. That's only for the babies that don't originally eat this stuff. Because she normally, she was made for Play-Doh, but since she doesn't have any speaker, she, it's okay to eat this. So that's what I'm trying to say. If you get me, if you understand. And hopefully that may, was a clear point that on my part. I hope. Alright. Our tomato soup is ready and looks yummy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this food looks yummy. What does this look like to you if it doesn't look like tomato soup? I want to know in the comments below if it doesn't look like tomato soup to you, what does it look like? So tell me in the comments below. If it does not look like tomato soup, what does it look like to you? So let's feed her. I'm gonna move the food over here. Oh, let's do the trick again. Magic! Ta-da! Okay. Now you know where I normally set you guys up? I go like this. Well, I do. Don't really do this with food. I feel like. Well, let's try it over here. So yeah. Okay. Now let's feed her. Mmm, whoop. Is that good? Uh-huh. It's one of her favorite thing, favorite soups, so I usually make it for her when she's sick. So, yeah. Oop, she's dripping a little. Come on, get your food. Come on. Ugh. I usually wipe her clean after she eats because I don't have a bib or anything really. Come on. Come on Dan. I'll try focus on her not the potty. So you can barely see her. the potty. Because some people think that's disgusting watching a baby go to the bathroom and I kind of do too. But I only do it to make sure she's actually eating the food. Oh, hold on. She's falling. Okay. Now, let's feed her. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Actually, in every Play-Doh Friday video, tell me what if it doesn't look like the food I said it would be. Tell me what it looks like. Okay. Go. 
Yeah, oh, you guys can even hear that. That's that's weird. Okay. I'm going to feed her a few bites off camp. Okay. She has a few bites left. So let's. I'm gonna have her finish the rest of this. Not very much. What? Off. Now that I think about it, it kind of looks like um strawberry food, but it was supposed to be tomato. But if you have a darker red, you should really use it, not the red I was using. So obviously it turned into strawberry. But it was supposed to be tomato soup. But yeah, that's kind of what happened. So yeah, because I don't have very many reds for it to do that. But yeah, see you guys after she's dressed, she's cleaned up, her potty's cleaned up. The food she ate is clean up. And then I'll show you the DIY after. Uh, I'm tame. Okay, let's put you to sleep. Ow. Sorry. But let's put you to sleep, okay? The bracelet, kind of. Alright, let's put you to bed. Come on. Mm. Alright, put Emily to bed or why Oko. So she's awake as you just saw. Oh. Okay. There you go, sweetie. Let's give you. No, okay, you don't want it. Okay. Good night. All right. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, do you guys see what I mean? Oh, I took everything out. That she has a cardboard bed and she has more of a soft bed and she even has a really soft floor for her bed. So she kind of wants it comfortable. So for this DIY, you are going to need a shirt that doesn't fit you or ask up permission. Always ask for permission for these DIYs if you can do them. So yeah. And your parents will might be say, yeah, sure, just use an old shirt or give you an, their old shirts and stuff. So if you have a big one, great, because you can use it for a lot of babies for the excess. So and then you are going to need scissors. You ask about that, then tape. Okay, begin cutting in the middle or the side, whatever you want. Just get it on, on a shirt. Cut the sleeves too. Now you have a shirt that's not a shirt anymore. Now measure it. Like just put it in and measure it and how big it is and how small it is, you know what always allow extra room just in case you messed up on your cut lines. Then fold it out. Now this part is optional taping it down down so it won't move or anything on you but that part is optional so if you do have tape that's fine you can just tape it down if you don't just wait until you get tape and tape it down if you don't even want to tape it that's fine it's your decision now you have your bed with a comfy thing here lay it down how's that so comfy mommy all right hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching Please click like and subscribe.